What's going on guys? Welcome to another video on the channel. Shadow of the Earth Tree comes out in a couple of months and it's almost that time to start a DLC character. I've already started mine. My, my character's ready to go. He's just sitting right at Moog, ready for that Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC. But if you want to play the game with a fresh coat of paint, there are some mods that you can get for the PC. Today I want to go over five of my favorite mods that will kind of hold you over till the DLC and make some great quality of life changes. Let me know what mods you guys use, what kind of mods you like from this list, what kind of mods should I check out? Let me know in the comments below and let's get right into it. The first mod I want to talk about is probably one of the most important mods on Nexus and for Elden Ring and it's called Seamless Co-op. Online play in the Souls games have always been janky and kind of weird. You can only invite people to help on bosses usually. Once the fight is over, the players come back to their own game. You can't really play the game together. It's just there's a lot of rules and stuff like that that from software added that really kind of don't make any sense. And on top of that, partners can't really interact or access stuff in the host game. They're just there to kill things with you. That's really it. That's where seamless co-op comes into play. This mod can be used to play the entire game in co-op up to four players. I think there's an eight player version as well, but I don't think the game is balanced with that many people. Even after killing bosses, the joining player just doesn't get kicked out. They can keep going and kind of just be there in your game. People can go on to the other side of the map. There's no leash on where a person can be compared to your, your game if you're the host. They could be going doing other things and you could be going doing your own thing. It's an amazing mod that lets you play with friends and playing Souls games with friends is actually a lot of fun. It creates a separate save on the Steam Matchmaker server. So you don't have to worry about corrupting your previous save or the save that you have your big DLC character that you're gonna be making or like your first playthrough or anything like that. This will create a brand new kind of save file on your computer that's on the Steam Matchmaking. Which is also another thing. The matchmaking in this is a lot of fun. You set your own password so random people can't join your game and you can play all of Elden Ring with a friend or multiple friends. It is amazing. The next two mods kind of go hand in hand. So let's talk about the first one, item and enemy randomizer. If you want a fresh way to play this game, let me introduce you to this mod. This randomizer shuffles all the items and enemies in the game. Pretty simple. You can also set what you want to randomize as well. For example, if you just want items, randomize just the items. If you want to shuffle everything but just the key items, you can do that as well. Great room bosses with other great room bosses, go for it. Or you can just shuffle it all with no bias and like wherever everything goes, that's where things go. I don't think you can actually soft lock yourself in this item and enemy and randomizer because I think the game's files actually are smart enough to make it so you don't get uh, soft locked. But it's a great tool if you want to keep the game fresh. And the next one on the list, number three, but kind of goes with the previous one, is the fog gate randomizer. So speaking of randomizer, this is a really, really fun one to use. Like we know, in every Souls game, there are fog doors to either go to bosses or special areas. Mostly in Elden Ring, it's for bosses, but this mod randomizes where those fog gates lead. It's great to combine with the previous one, so you can pretty much randomize everything that happens in the game. It also has the option to remove the open world aspect of Elden Ring and just kind of connect all the fog gates together so there isn't no to there's no torrenting, there's really no like that downtime between dungeons or anything like that. You can go right into one catacomb, into a uh, cave, into Stormvale, just kind of uh, keep that momentum going. Well, this and the previous mod are a great combination, like I was saying, I'd really recommend it. There are a lot of overhauling mods out there on Nexus and wherever you're looking for mods, but Convergence is one of the best ones out there. This mod is called the Convergence mod. This is a complete overhaul of the game with 27 new classes with their own progression, their own starting locations, their brand new spells and equipments that they start with and what you can pick up and what they can wield. There's a huge dungeon overhaul as well. There are brand new bosses created just for this mod. They got rid of Godskin Duo and they put a whole new uh, boss in there. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna spoil it, but it's awesome. It's very comprehensive and really gives the game a fresh coat of paint. Also, this mod is hard as fuck, so if you ever want more difficulty in Elden Ring, this is the mod for you. The last mod I want to talk about is going to be a little bit different. We're going to talk about quality of life this time. All the other ones have been kind of gameplay aspect with seamless co-op, randomizers, brand new kind of style game for Elden Ring. 
this is going to be a quality of life thing. From Software doesn't do the best item descriptions when it comes to what they do, not to what their lore aspect is. For example, the sleep pods normally just say it puts enemies to sleep, which is great, but I kind of want more out of that. With this mod, the detailed item descriptions mod, you can actually see how much sleep accumulates over time, pretty much showing us how long the sleep is going to last for, for time-wise. Also for magic, it shows us the base damage with the actual numbers and say if you're doing frostbite or whatever status effect, what the accumulation is as well, or how much it will accumulate every time you do a hit. I love this because it helps picking a weapon. It gives us a true weapon comparison of what you're using with another weapon that might be better when it comes to buffs. Sometimes talismans just say, oh, this just buffs roar attacks. I wanna know how much it buffs for roar attacks. It kind of gets me into the nitty gritty of numbers so I can compare what it's gonna be better for my build, what could be better for a certain boss in the game. I love this mod. This is one of the mods that I always have installed and I think this is a must have. Those are my top five mods for Elden Ring right now. I'll probably come out with another video with showing more mods that, that you can install for Elden Ring. I don't know if you guys want to see more quality of life ones, more gameplay changing ones, that kind of type thing. Maybe I'll also put a video out to how to mod Elden Ring as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. If you guys like the content on the channel, hit that sub button. I'd really, really appreciate it. I stream over on Twitch and on YouTube on this channel as well about three to four days a week. I do a lot of challenge runs when it comes to Elden Ring, no death runs, shield only runs, all that kind of stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.